A lot of people are getting puppies right now. We're going to talk about nipping and jumping. This is Jade. Jade is a three month old Cane Corso. They jump. All puppies this age jump and all of them nip. And you guys, look at these teeth, okay? Those are little needle teeth, right? If you have kids, if you have kids and the dog jumps up and gets the kid like that, it can be very dangerous. It gets them in the ear, very dangerous. There's two main methods I like to use with puppies. And whenever you're working with a puppy, you don't want to be too harsh, okay? Once the dog gets older, you can up it a little bit in the same way with young kids or babies, you're not going to be harsh. But as they get to be teenagers, you can have a little more. Come on, Jade. All right, does that make sense? So here, we're going to do jumping right now. Jade, we're going to do the turnaround method. So we're going to make a noise. I like to say, ouch. You can say no, you can say whatever you want. Then you're going to take your attention away from the dog. It's called negative punishment. You're taking away attention when the dog jumps. And if they're jumping on you, what do they want? They want attention, right? Then when the dog sits or isn't jumping, you're going to give them attention, okay? So that's one of the ways to do with jumping. And by the way, jumping and nipping are almost the same thing, right? They're both kind of attention-seeking behaviors. They often go together. They jump and nip. So it's the same method for both. But there's a little something added when you're working with nipping. Okay, so we have Jade here. Jade, hi, Jade. Hi, you're such a nice doggy. You're such a good doggy. So if the dog ever does that right there, came up, and sat, you're gonna drop down and you're gonna give your dog love for being such an awesome dog. Now, sometimes what they'll do is then at this point, uh -uh, they will then jump. Remember that where I said yelp or say no? I actually say uh-uh. I said uh-uh and I turned my attention away. So all the, all the love Jade was getting was removed the moment she jumped on me. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to it. Jade says a good girl. So if there's a jump, uh-uh, or a nip, I'm gonna mark it. And then I stood up and took my attention away. Let's see if uh, it helps. Hi, Jade. We're, we'll do this all day. Now, I don't mind that as much. That was not quite a jump at the face. It's not as bad. So I'm just going to push her down, right? She kind of climbed up me. It's not the same behavior. It's not as, quote unquote, bad as just a leap at the face, right? Remember, I talked about those teeth. So, hi, Jade. We just got this dog, by the way. Kind of a half halfway jump right there. I, you you got to... You know, be more severe when the behavior is bad. And if it's just kind of normal little puppy stuff, don't worry too much about it. All right, so I'm gonna sit on the ground with Jade. Jade, Jade, all right. Most people want to allow this to happen, right? They want the dog to be able to come into their lap and do this. Nipping, so what if most people want this? Now, what if at some point there was a bite where she really got my chin? Like not super hard, but enough to hurt, right? You could basically say uh-uh or no, and then you could simply get up and leave the dog. So everything right now is fine. What if she were to just launch herself at my face? Is that acceptable? No, but is being up here looking at my face acceptable? Yes, you gotta choose your battles. Punish the things that need to be punished, let the other stuff go, and understand puppies will do things, okay? Puppies are going to, are going to jump more, they're gonna nip. Doesn't mean we accept it, but it's gonna happen, okay? You can't really stop it from happening. If you find yourself constantly going, uh-uh, turning away, uh-uh, turning away, every time she jumps, oh, remember, every time the dog sits, you're gonna drop down. Let's say they just, they're just nipping all the time. You have to satiate that, their mouth, okay? I'm gonna accept this, because I don't mind this, right? The pause, it's not really a jump in there. So, this is good to do with your dog. People ask me all the time whether they play play tug of war with their dog. I'm a big fan of tug of war. You gotta be careful with these little puppy teeth, right? You can't pull too hard on this thing, but this is gonna help the nipping. Because essentially, this is what they're trying to do when they're nipping a dress. I get a lot of calls about little kids, you know, the eight-year-old is wearing a dress and running through the house. Well, that's essentially this. You gotta satiate it. You gotta give them the stuff to do this with, okay? So that they don't do it on the eight-year-old's dress. You should be doing this with your puppy. Mild game of tug of war, not pulling too hard. Oh, you want to train a quick drop it? We'll do it super quick, okay? Drop it. We'll just throw this in here because it is associated with tug of war. Hide the treats. Ready? Oh, she smells them. Oh, she's good. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Tug of war. 
tug of war. Drop it. Beautiful. Did you see that? Okay. Good. I presented the hand with a treat in it. I said, drop it. She smelled the treat. She said, well, I want that treat more than I want this thing. Let go. And okay, now we're going to start again. Problem is she's all under the treats now. But did you see that? That's how you train and drop it. And then eventually no treat. You just, you're just, they just have something in their mouth and you say, drop it. So no treat, but the hand signal is drop it. Okay. Look, let's see if we can do it again. Oh yeah. yeah. Now she's like, I want that treat. I want that treat. Jake. Let's see. Drop it. Drop it. Yes. Oh, who cares, right? It's her first time ever doing a drop it. I'll say it multiple times. Doesn't matter. She's so young. She's only three months old. Okay, guys. So jumping, negative punishment, where you're turning, you're taking away your attention, marking the behavior, taking away your attention when they jump. That is the main way to teach, teach not to jump with a puppy. It's not my main way when they're an adult, but it's definitely my main way when they're a puppy. Nipping, similar method, okay? But then add this into the mix on the nipping to satiate that, uh, that bite mechanism, that, that bite behavior that they have and that they, as their teeth come in, they need this stuff, all right?